$100 billion they want to add to U.S. stocks and they want to sort of reduce their overweight on European stocks. I mean, I'm less interested in sort of just that call and more interested in sort of what this says when you have this huge ball of money moving from one area to another. And the interesting thing is yesterday we had UBS saying that there's another ball of more money moving outside of stocks. And so you have high net worth individuals moving out, you have a pension fund moving in, and we were joking around before, where else are you going to go? Yields are going to nothing. And so maybe stocks is the safe bet for Norway somehow? And one of the areas that they're moving out of likely would be the UK, which makes right. sense when you look at all of the havoc that Brexit has wreaked on the stock prices there. But I mean, there's not a lot of growth in Europe. I mean, right. especially you know when you look at the manufacturing sector, you're seeing a lot of signs of a slowdown, if not a recession there. In the US, we're worried about the same thing, but you're still seeing a little bit of growth even in manufacturing. But when you look at tech companies or some of the software players or you know even on the consumer side, there's a lot more opportunities there. Right, if you still downgrade growth in the US, you're still looking at 2% plus. You're not right. looking at exactly. negative one-tenth of 1% 1 uh, for second quarter German GDP. But to your point about the ball of money, it's like, yes, you have UBS, kind of you want to get out of, uh, of stocks, but then you're going to go into corporate credit. Like, where are you going to find that kind of value? If you have no way going into uh, the U.S. equity market, that's all money into the U.S. That's all a stronger dollar, and that kind of like perpetuates this negative cycle. And by the way, the Norwegian finance minister, this part is partially what spurred this. They were saying you're a little overweight here, European equities shift. This is diversification for Norway in, in a weird way.